Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar has weakened further against the US counterparty on Monday as the US dollar index picks up a slight biddish tone from around 91.86 early this morning. A lack of data and along with that has kept the Australian dollar slightly depressed ahead of the US Fed speakers this week. Along with that, we also have eyes looking to the Friday's June jobs report. It is assessed that the Dom Farm payrolls now slightly low to around 675,000 forecast. With the previous release of 559,000, with the unemployment now looking at 5.6 after last release of 5.8. From a technical point, though, I do anticipate that further weakness should continue towards a support level of 75.45 that may head on towards 74.70.75 and reassess from there. But the technical is looking rather negative in terms of that fact we've broken through the midway point and along with the MACD also holding negative does support this view. The euro was somewhat flat after yesterday's in and out of gains and losses. The market is still maintaining to keep an eye on the US dollar, along with that with this week's US non-farm payrolls report. Do note that some of the uh, Fed speakers this week could put a slight tone to a bullish case for the US dollar, which should see further pressure. As we can see here, the RSI has buckled somewhat under the midway point and keeping to a marriage to the MACD's negative signal and therefore should eventually see the challenge to the support level of 118.85 to maybe 118.40.50 even though the first initial target was at 118.60 I have lowered my forecast just a little to around that 40.50 area. This may lead on if the US dollar does keep to its objective of 93 figure 50 for the euro which is weighted at 57.6 to the US dollar to the target of around 117.50. The dollar yen for the now into the fourth consecutive day slides lower and since the rejection of that channel around 111.05 is looking to the first target which is seen around 110.45 as a minor support and then beneath there somewhere around 109.50.90 area which is where this up channel holds and reassess from there we could see a bit of somewhat profit taking emerge. The pound did take a challenge briefly to the upside but was rejected from around that 139 area with the technicals remaining negative and therefore that means uh, keeping to a uh, a marriage to the MACD should see further pressure into the European session and look towards a support level around 138.20.35. This could slip further if broken and look towards the broader picture of 137.40.45 where I do anticipate profit taking to emerge. This in turn should see further weakness as the pound weakens against the yen strength and therefore sees a further slide now that we've taken out the level of 153.45.60 and look towards the level of 152 figure 10 and reassess from there. Well, the gold has still continues its sideways pattern into the seventh consecutive day as the US dollar edges slightly higher as fears of being caught between a spike in the highly infectious Delta strain of the coronavirus. Along with that, there is still concerns of an early interest rate hike in the US as well. Slightly torn between two sides. Keep an eye on these technicals because the RSI is attempting to try and climb with the R with the MACD. But the risk is, as long as we maintain along the lines of the cap, that is, of 1,800 figure six, then I feel that the market may eventually break the level of 1,760 and head on down to the 1,720.25 level and reassess from there. In the event we see a close above 1,800 to 1,806 would negate the downside and instead put a projection towards a trajectory target of 1,852 to 56. Wrapping up with oil, 
Well, the divergence came in quite sharply overnight. Along with that, post in a bearish outside range day waits confirmation. That is a close under 72.05 a barrel would give further risk to the view to the bearish case of 70.80 as the first target. May even see an extension down to the 68 region. Nevertheless, we do need that confirmation to support these signals and also the downside. So a close under 72.05 is what the market should be looking for. Other than that, let's see if these technicals also holding negative can bring in the bears to that trigger level. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interesting report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.